Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a New Year's Eve glam makeup tutorial for you guys. So my friends for Christmas did actually give me this 2017 rose gold headband and oh my goodness I am obsessed with it. So I did want to do a look that incorporated the glitter like this color rose gold onto the eyes. So I searched through my collection and I was able to find a glitter so I was able to create this look for you guys today. It's not very tricky, which I like. I hate super tricky makeup. Like, I'm just not that good at it. I love beautiful makeup, but I don't like spending, like, six hours on one eyeball. You know what I mean? I just like quick, easy, simple makeup, and that's what this is to me. Like, yes, I did incorporate glitter, but it honestly didn't take me long at all. So, yeah, if you'd like to see how I achieved this quick, easy New Year's Eve glam, then just keep watching. So starting off with the skin, I've already prepped my skin with my moisturizer and my eye cream and then I did go in with a sunscreen as well. Today I used the Cancer Council Face Day Wear Matte Sunscreen with SPF 50. The reason why I'm using this is because normally for me, I like to go to friends barbecues and stuff like that on New Year's Eve. So I normally get there around maybe like six o'clock, sometimes a bit earlier, the sun's still really, really strong and I do want my skin to stay protected. So that's why I do put on a sunscreen as well. If you are just going out at night and you don't want to wear a sunscreen and you're scared of flashback and stuff, then go right ahead and skip this step. But I would highly recommend it if you plan on being out in the sun all afternoon, all the way on to the new year. So moving on to priming the skin, I am going to use a little bit of the Tarte What's it called? Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I do have a little bit of pores in this little section on my face. And then I like to put it on my forehead as well just to cover up or just to like fill in the lines on my forehead. This is what it looks like. I haven't actually used it before, but I've heard great things. So I'm going to use that today. But feel free to use any pore filling product that you have. And with any pore filling product, I like to push up into the pore. So it kind of like fills it in a little bit. Moving on to priming the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Primer Water. I love this because in Australia it's so hot right now and this is so refreshing. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. This stuff is so bomb and it seriously lasts all day. I love it so much. Priming my eyes, I'm going to use the Benefit Stay Don't Stray eye primer. This also blanks out any color on the eyelid as well, so it's really good. I'm going to go in with a corrector. This one is from Makeup Atelier and it's in the shade Apricot. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Oh my goodness, I only got this recently, but it's one of the best concealers I have ever used. It's giant as doe foot applicator, but it's so good. This is the darkest shade that I own, and I think it's going to be a little bit too light, but that's all right. Whatever. We'll just be super highlighted for New Year's. I'm going to add a little bit of LA Girl Pro Conceal Yellow Concealer. This is in Yellow Corrector. So I'm just going to cream contour slash conceal with the shade Cafe in the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer range. Just going to do a little bit, not a lot, because I do want the focus to be on the eyes. But I'm definitely putting product on my jawline though, because y'all know I ate a little bit too much over Christmas. <laughs> Just going to take a little bit of RCMA no color powder in the lid and I'm just going to dip my beauty blender into it. So I've just tipped a little bit into the lid there and I'm just going to dip my beauty blender into it. It's a little bit damp and I'm just going to bake. I'm just going to set my eyelids with a little bit of Bourjois Healthy Balance Press Powder. It's in the shade number 53, just a light dusting just to set that Stay Don't Stray by Benefit. And notice how I'm not dusting away that fake. I really want it there for when I'm packing on the glitter. Um, so if any falls out, I can just dust it away. And oh my goodness, I actually look ridiculous. 
I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows using MAC Brun Eyeshadow. I haven't been using a pomade recently, just a brow powder and brow gel, and I've been loving it so much. But I'm going to do my brows off camera so I don't bore you guys. <laughs> okay, moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be taking my Z palette. It's got a few Makeup Geek shadows in here as well as a few MAC shadows as well. I'm going to take Latte from Makeup Geek, which is this one, mixed with a little bit of Barcelona Beach. I'm literally just going to cover my... You'll see what I'm doing. Make sure you tap off the excess too. <laughs> so I'm just going to work this through my crease on a larger fluffy brush. Moving on, I'm going to be taking this shade here from Makeup Geek. It's called Grandstand, and I'm just going to pack that on with a flat shader brush. This is just going to be a base for the glitter. I'm just going to quickly jump into the Chocolate Bar palette from Too Faced. I'm just going to take the matte highlight shade. You can use any highlight shade that you want. This is just the one that I have close by. I'm just going to brush this underneath my brow bone. I'm just going to take this brown out of the Chocolate Bar palette just because it's the closest one that I have. And I'm just gonna brush this on the outer portion of the eye and deepen up the socket just a little bit. Just so the eye has a little bit more depth. Now for the glitter, I'm gonna be using Eye Candy Taffy. It looks like that, if you can see it. It's the closest glitter that I have to the shade of the headband. So I'm gonna use this today. And I'm gonna be adhering it to my eye using the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I love this stuff so much, but you need to work one eye at a time or else it just won't stick. So taking a little bit of the glitter glue using the same brush, I'm just going to brush this onto my eye just to about here. So only two thirds of the eye is going to have glitter on it. Then quickly dip into the glitter and then apply it. Basically I'm applying it to the eye so it's most concentrated about here and then it fades both out and in the eye, if that makes sense. So that's the upper lid done. I'm now just going to dust away the bake. Okay, now taking a short shader brush, I'm just going to go back into that palette and I'm just going to take a little bit of Latte and I'm just going to run that along the lower lashes. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of the dark brown that I used to darken up the crease and then darker the lower lash line just a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> just going to apply a little bit of Estee Lauder Sumptuous Mascara. This stuff is so bomb. Just a light coat because I'm going to stick on fake eyelashes and I don't really want it to transfer to my eyelid. Okay, so eyes are done now. I'm going to move on to the face. I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is not the milk chocolate one. Surprise, surprise. This one's actually the chocolate one um, just because I do have a deeper tan so I thought that I'd give this one a go. And I'm just going to basically bronze my face. I'm going to use the tiniest little bit of the Cover FX bronzer in the shade Suntan. I love this as a contour. And I'm going to take it on my NARS Eater brush. Just one tap and then tapping off any excess. Just to deepen up my contour just a tiny little bit. Moving on to highlighter, I'll be showing my... Blah. Moving on to highlighter, I'll be using the, if I can open up the right way, that would be good, um, the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Collection, the face one. I'm going to be just using a mixture of Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop and applying that to the cheekbones. Now just to end things up just a little bit more, I'm going to be taking a mixture of these two shades from the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Skin Twinkle Kit. I'm just going to add that to the very high points of the cheek. I'm going to spray a little bit of finishing spray on my face and then I'll move on to lips. So I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Finish Finish Matte Spray. For lips, I'm going to go nude. I'm going to use the Lime Crime Lulu Liquid Lipstick. I feel like that's a little bit too nude, so I'm going to mix a little bit of Ellie on top. Oh my goodness, the temperature light on my camera is turning on. Maybe I'll go do the rest of my hair and I'll come back. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished look. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I am obsessed with this glitter on the eyes. It is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. I love it so much and it matches my New Year's headband. Eee do you like it? My friends got it for me for Christmas and I'm obsessed with this headband so much. 
So yeah, I'm so excited to bring in 2017. I cannot wait for what this year has entailed for me. And yeah, I hope you guys have a very safe and happy new year. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.